Hey guys, um, I bought a TBS Unify Pro 32 Nano uh, and I, in this video I will show you how to adjust the power levels. Uh, by default it comes locked at 25 milliwatt and um, I had a little struggle finding all the information and just tinkering with the adjustments so hopefully this video will help someone. Um, I downloaded it, uh, the manual, just uh, four, five, and six pages. I think they're the most important one for this specific case. Um, the button menu control, uh, we need to be in the band selection mode before we can unlock it. Just make sure you're doing that. Um, and then um, after we unlock it, then we can adjust our power levels. And the way we adjust the power levels is from this table. We need to be in the three red blinks and the three bru uh, blue blinks. So right here you see the three and then the red is three as well. So we need to be right here. So that's how um, how I will be showing you how to change that. Uh, by default it's a 25 and it's locked. Okay. So let me quickly adjust uh, uh, the camera so you guys can see because uh, this thing is very tiny um, and little. So uh, and there are two LEDs. So let me adjust the camera really quick and uh, uh, we will continue. Alright guys, so I made this camera a little bit closer so you can see the red LEDs. So again, we're adjusting the power levels here. We're looking for three red blinks and three blue blinks, which will indicate that we are going to be at a power level of 400 milliwatts, which is the maximum this VTX can do. In order to get there, we need to first unlock it, because from the factory it's locked and you're not going to be able to adjust it. It's locked to default 25 milliwatt. So I'm going to show you how to unlock it and adjust it, save it, and lock it back up if we want to. We don't have to. Okay, so let me plug it in the, um, the drone. That way we get power to the VTX. So we got power to the VTX. Should be able to see the blink and LEDs. Let's get into the uh, first mode. Press and hold for less than three seconds. They say three seconds, but less. There you go. See how fast it was? So we're in the first selection mode, which is a channel selection mode. To unlock it, we need to get into the band selection mode, which is a two red blinks. So let's do it again. One, two, three. Let go. Two red blinks, meaning we are on the band selection mode. Okay. So now from here, we can unlock it by holding 20 to 25 seconds. Okay, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. There we go. It's unlocked. Okay, so three blinks in red indicating we are in a power level adjustment mode and one blink meaning we're at the 25 milliwatt so we need to get three blue blinks okay let's push it really quick one so you'll see two blinks of blue meaning we are in a hundred milliwatt one more time we should see three blue lights I guess it didn't work okay let's see if we have uh, there you go, three blue lights, meaning we are at the 400 milliwatt. Let's save that by pressing and holding three seconds. Done, okay? We saved it. Okay, let's check it. One, two, okay, let's get in a second, check it out. One, okay, one, so let's get in the band mode. We're in the band mode right now. Now let's check the power level. One, two, three in the power level. One, two, three. Okay, so we're good, right? We uh, we just uh, put ourselves in a 400 milliwatt power level VTX, and I didn't really lock mine. You could, which you need to go back into the band selection mode again and hold it for again for 20 to 25 seconds, and then it will lock itself up in that in that state. Um, okay, so this is it. This uh, this is the video. Pretty quick. Um, it does get hot. That's why I'm using the the, the back of uh, my adjustment screwdriver. And these are um, uh, these are the non-metal tweezers. So they help me out 
uh, a lot. This button is very fragile, so really be careful. And this VTX does get pretty pretty hot. Uh, I saw upwards of 110 uh, and higher. So just be careful here. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope this helped.